first tonight caught in the crossfire. A car is riddled with bullet holes after a Frazier woman seeking shelter during the power outage was shot outside a Northeast Memphis hotel. Thanks for joining us for the News at 5. I'm Stephanie Skurlock. I'm Greg Hurst. Fortunately, that woman will survive, but she has a bullet lodged in her leg while sharing her story tonight with WRAG's Bria Jones. Just realized it was there. Her car sprayed with nearly 30 bullets. Vita Taylor says she's just happy to be alive. What is it like to see see all these bullet holes? Into? I'm about to cry there. I'm about to cry there, so <laughs> it's a lot. I could have been dead. Dead. So. I think some need to be done. After losing power at her Fraser home during the ice storm, Taylor says she checked into the America Inn on Sycamore View in Shelby Oaks with her elderly mother and daughter. Friday night, she says she was returning to the hotel alone when people in two cars surrounded her and exchanged gunfire in the parking lot. When I heard ch -ch -ch -ch, something said, let your seat back. I was shielded by angels that God put over me, so because if you look, if I had been sitting there, what would I be? Nell living with a painful reminder. Taylor says the bullet that pierced her leg is still lodged inside. The pull up, knowing it's folks, might be outside. Y'all just pull up to randomly shoot because y'all into it. Nah, it's too much. Tired of lawlessness in random shootings, Taylor is pointing the finger at Tennessee's permitless carry law. It's, it's hurting a lot of innocent people, citizens that pay taxes because a lot of people are getting hurt due to negligent violence. In Northeast Memphis, Bria Jones, WREG News, Channel 3. Angels definitely shielded her. Well, Taylor says her family had to spend another night at the hotel, but they now have power. Memphis police say one of the vehicles involved was a newer model Chevrolet SUV. Now, if you have any information about this incident, call Crime Stoppers at 901-528-CASH.